Raffy birthday freestyle? No. <laughs> him on the spot like okay. Yeah, who's the use of having a celebrity in the house and he can't even flow for it? And then we'll, we'll, we'll sing the happy birthday part. <laughs> we'll do a hook. You got to, uh, yeah. You, we do have something. Let's oh, do okay, it. Okay, let's go. Right, We're all ready. Right. All right. Let's go. Y'all gonna start the tune up. Okay. <laughs> oh my Which god. Which happy birthday are we doing? Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To ya. Happy birthday. 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 Wait, wait, wait for you to come in. Y'all got the mic. You got the mic. You don't need a mic. Wow. No, we're here clowning in the studio today. That's how you get us to sing. That was so nice. You know, I would applaud both of you. Thank you. I just Thank tried you. to do like the hype part. That sounded good. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, she had a note there too, didn't she? Marilyn Monroe. Right. Oh my goodness. It's a jazz birthday, show. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, anyway, that was real cool. Happy birthday to everybody out there in. Oh, by the way, we want to send a shout out to everybody who is in New York on uh, our Rhythm Up Radio, and that is 107.3 in the Bronx and in Manhattan. Everybody out there on Heavy 97.2 FM. What did you say? 92. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> 92.7 FM on the heavy in Miami and yeah we're on all those networks right now going live you know and everybody in Atlanta live. thank you so much thank you thank you on the 106.5 FM and everybody in internet land on livestream.com slash collabo music Z and a K music um, and thank you to collabo music itself the radio station the network everything um, for allowing me to have this show and do jazz and bring all these wonderful ladies in front of the camera and on the radio so that everybody can see, you know, the women in music, the business. Oh, that so, is so nice. You know what? We did forget Tony Sanders' birthday was just recently. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so like Tony, Tony wasn't it? happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like, happy birthday, Tony. So listen, okay, so we're at, yeah, we have some time left. Let's talk about Robin. Who are you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Robin That's came a good all question. the way from Ohio. And welcome. Thank you. Welcome um, to And America. then just like looking like, really, like, who are you? <laughs> uh, wow. Um, it is always, it has always been kind of difficult when someone asks me to talk about myself. <sighs> and I'm sorry. It just, it just really is. All I can say is that I'm a very hardworking woman. And I believe in um, helping people. I believe in life and enjoying life. You know, I had two near-death experiences. And so with that being said, um, you know that I'm all about just being happy at this point. Um, it's just hard to really say. Hey. It's just hard to really, really that say. But you know what? Um, I would have to say this, is that just about everything at this point in time in my life that I do is ordained. Mm -hmm. And everything that I do with um, Fan First Entertainment, which is the label that I work for, and um, with our artist cast, I believe that everything is ordained at this moment. And so 2012 is our year. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that um, about, I think it was about six months ago, I had another uh, bout where I almost died. And from that, I realized the importance to pursue your dreams and your goals. I have four adult children. No, and most don't. people, yes, I do. Wait, yes, like I do. size zero. <laughs> yeah, well, three, size three, size three. Okay, but uh, anyway, yeah, I do have four, um, four um, adult children. So, and I was married for uh, like 23 years. So I've recently been divorced, probably about two years. So I'm redefining myself at this point in time. And um, I'm just all about business, really. And i um, ready to introduce uh, the world to Robin, also known as Justice, and also ready to introduce the world to Chaos, also known as CC Server. So those are my main focuses at this point in time. Listen, everybody, pain is a motivator. So, you know, all your glory is shining. I just want to let you know. You Thank know, you. Everything Thank you've been through, 2012 is your year. Right. I know Thank it's mine. You. Yes. Thank and you. Okay, and it is your year. And your story touched me because I've come from a, a pretty painful past in the last four years. Mm -hmm. And it was an experience that helped me to become introspective and take a look at what my higher power had planned for me. Okay. So when you spoke about that, it really touched me because I know that 2012, 
it's going to be a better year. Yeah, Hold on thank one second. You. Hey, thank caller, you. you're on Collabo Live 106.5 FM. Who are we speaking to? Hi, this is Siobhan. Hey, Siobhan. You're on Hi. Go Live with Cairo Queen. How you hey, doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Hi. Fine, how are you? Good. Hi, Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan, you don't call me Kimmy in public. <laughs> hey, Kimmy. Kimmy. <laughs> Kimmy. Oh, God. Hi, honey, how are you? Great, thanks. Wonderful. I was, I was calling to say hey and congratulations, you're on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's big things, big things happening. Yeah. Or they it's say big video. things popping, little things stopping. Uh -uh. Like, hold on one second, we have another caller calling in from uh, somewhere out in the ether. Hold on. Yeah. Thanks for calling Collabo Live 106.5 <laughs> FM. You're on Go Live with Cairo Queen. Who are we speaking to? Hey, Cairo with Denise. What's up? Hey, Denise. It's another powerful woman of music, the business. Denise is all the way out in Texas. Wow. wow. She's a, a Houston halo. <laughs> hey, Denise. She's uh, one of my halos. No, That's one of my angels. Thank you so much. Dates at the moment. So what are we talking about tonight? Well, first of all, we're talking about us, the women of music, the business. Mm -hmm. And I'm joined by two phenomenal women in the industry, one that just dropped into Atlanta and another one who is already an a icon here in Atlanta. And, I mean, you even come from people who have, you know, That's the right. training of, you know, other people who have been in the business. T talk about that a little bit. Well, uh, my brother and uh, the brothers and cousins uh, started um, uh, were in the club business for a very long time. And um, I first came into this industry uh, a while back, in the early 90s. I, I worked uh, in the dungeon with Rico Wade, and um, I learned a lot. And then I moved on with Tricky and Tricky Business Entertainment. And I just, I, I credit both of them with teaching me a lot about what it takes to make this industry work. And, um, <laughs> and um, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. I tell people to call the radio, they call the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it, it has really molded me into uh, understanding what our roles are in music because what people see our roles as and what our roles really are, Robin, I'm sure you can agree, um, are two totally different aspects of what being a woman in the music industry is. Mm -hmm. you know, it's really hard, and um, the more attractive you are, the harder you get. That's true. Um, and one of the things that I stand firm on is I get mine on my feet, not my back. Right. right. Oh. So, you know, I, I was <laughs> blessed with a brain and a very, very good one, you know, and so I try to use that to excel in everything that I do. And, you know, this year has bought me a lot of faith. I met Kibo this year. Okay. And I just know he's my star, you know. Uh, I'm, I've had a lot of him in my life, and I and I still do. I'm surrounded by shining stars. But he is just, again, the beast. Okay. And I want to introduce him to the world in the best light possible because the aura that surrounds us is all about light. We're, mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to operate in the light and to make sure that his career escalates as well as everyone around us's career. I believe in loyalty and in, in bringing on the team. And if you have a strong team, then you have a strong foundation. I would have to agree with you for that. I really yeah, do. See this that power. was good. Really, really good. We had another really caller calling really in. Good. Hold on. This this is hot. Hold on. Thanks for calling Collabo Live 106.5 FM. You're on Go Live with Cairo Queen. Who are we speaking with? This is Peter. <laughs> Hi, Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. Peter is my VP of operations. Oh, Peter. Thanks for calling <laughs> How in, How are Peter. you? Okay, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's going on, Sam? <laughs> hey, Sam? Are you scared a little yeah. bit? Yeah, like you blushing little, or something over there. What's going on? Feminine energy bothering you. Yeah, right. And he's like the strength behind the movement. Like, you, you know, you met Peter. You come to the guy, the attractive guy. Everybody thinks he's a model. He's standing oh, in. Oh, yeah, the, in the suit. Yes, that's, yeah. Peter. that's Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, hey, VP. How are you? I'm good. You all right? I mean... Kind of, I'm kind of thrown off. I don't know what's going on. Thanks for your support. Uh, Cairo Queen will tell you a little bit about what's going on and why you're calling in to support us. And Robin is here with us. You, I can't wait for you to meet Robin. And Kibo's here with us, too. Okay. And Kibo is here. He's back here chilling. Like, he's he's made well, a... Well, he's just chilling out. Oh, yeah, back here in the back, absorbing all this feminine energy. Yeah. Like in the, the image from the back. No, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm terrible. Anyway, so listen, speaking of that, you know, I was looking at uh, Kim's flyers, and I love the fact that there are these gorgeous men on the flyers. Oh, yeah. I have an Can't issue say. 
with every flyer I see having to have, you know, TNA on it. No. You know? No. no. One of the things that Peter can um, also attribute uh, to our, our, our company um, ideals is that we're focusing on glamorous. We're focusing on upscale, and we're focusing on the beauty of being African-American. And uh, we don't want a lot of um, nudity, a lot of profanity on the flyers. I mean, not to say that it's not going to be in some of the music that you hear, but what we want to portray is that it's time for you to glam up. Yeah, that's Key Bogatti. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. So we want to portray, nice flyers. Um, you know, it's time for you to put on your best, come out, let fashion meet industry, and not where someone's pushing a CD in your face constantly, or someone's, uh, can I get your number? I got a project I want to work. This is where the industry people come to network and identify with each other and not have to worry about whose project is being worked on here. You can exchange numbers, but chill out. Pop a bottle. Sit down. Relax on the Grown couch. folk style. Grown folk style. Okay. I like that. That sounds <laughs> nice. When is this again? Style. It's That's every nice. Friday, and I hope to see you there. We have Grand Hustle in the house. Okay. For Night Hustle with Mitchell Ed. All right. Um, he's a new Eritrean artist, um, and um, it plans to be a big thing. Okay. Well, count me in. was big last time I went. I, this is the one that I was telling you all about that I went to, and she treated me like I was a goddess, got in there, and people were popping bottles for us. I was like, who am I? Oh. <laughs> it was glamorous. wonderful. Glamorous. It was glamorous. Anyway. <laughs> flyers so are nice. nice. I like the flyers. All right, so They're Denise. Really nice. Denise is calling out of Houston. Denise is a powerhouse when it comes to all sorts of different things, promotion. She works in smooth jazz. She works with international uh, uh, contacts for both you and I. So, you know, Denise, tell people a little bit about what you do. It's called everything. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that one. It is. Right. Um, basically, I've had one of the best mentors in the world, the late Ahmed Antigon from Atlantic Records. Okay. Okay. And um, that pretty much built the foundation that I have from the business perspective. And you are all business too. You totally. And I don't know when you have time. This woman is up at five o'clock in the morning hammering. I mean, she is. Yep. That's uh, how you do it. You have to. Who sleeps? Uh, really, who <laughs> sleeps? You know. It's uh, it's habit. It's just, it's just habit. Um, basically because everybody's in a different time zone. Right. It's called uh, striking when the iron is hot. Operation 24-7. <laughs> Listen, and, and uh, Denise, um, I want to talk a little bit now that we're all here together about how, and, and we could play a song in the background, um, how this industry has treated us. You know, I mean, because I've noticed, <laughs> I noticed before, behind every good artist, we don't want to talk it seems about to be one of us behind one of the artists. You know, <laughs> even if the management I mean, team is a man, TV, there's still a woman somewhere in the capacity pushing it. You guys have a preview of going. what it's like. I can tell Okay. Um, <laughs> and your preview that you have of the industry is basically a snapshot, and they take that snapshot and, and, and reshape it. And that is what they sell to the public, which is why most uh, artists are blind. You know, there's a lot of things they don't know, they should know. They don't ask. And so basically what the industry does is lead you, but not lead you all the way through the tunnel. It's like they put you in front of the open end, and they look at it, and they go, okay, can you handle it? And and they make the assumption that you handle it a step off. I, I, so it's, 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 it's not an industry that trains you because they don't train the artists they represent. You know, they don't they don't cultivate them. They just kind of go um, from a demo to a contract, <laughs> and from there to distribution, and and the in between steps they don't touch those. That's like. No, we don't do that. That's a waste of time. I believe the first step for any artist, any musician, is rotation. Mm. Why spend $5 million to cut a CD, to distribute, to market, 
and it, it may take six months to a year before it actually hits the ground running. No, if you do rotation, everybody gets familiar with who you are. They hear your name like a million times. You can get the ground running. Plug, opportunity people. for Collabo Live 106.5. If you are looking to get some rotation, you can send your music to <coughs> Collabo Live. Oh. Collabo Star Time Promo. Star Time Promo. Hold on one second. We got another caller coming in. Star Time Promo, but um, you can also send your information in. And we got two calls coming in. Thanks for calling Collabo Live 106.5 FM. You are on Go Hi. Live with Cairo Queen. Hi, this is Rochelle from Black Girl. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm it. look, I'm going to get Tony. I love, 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 love Black Girl. <laughs> she yes, she, she did. Just she just did. Oh, hi, Rochelle. <laughs> how y'all doing? Fine. How are you? I am good. Oh my but goodness. Just, I'm just calling, you know, for the group saying, hey, we just want to let y'all know we're still here. We just want to say what's up. Do you know, I was so excited when Tony told me that he was managing you. I could have just literally came out of my skin. I was wow. like, I literally I was like, I got went back to when I was a teenager because I mean, I mean, we used to you wake up. You went back that far. Way, way back. Way back. <laughs> way back. I'm just saying. Don't I was so, I mean, I right. love, love, love black girl. Nubian yeah. Prince, you know, 90s girl, willing and able. Well, we, we need a song for 2012. Right. Uh, Women in the industry, black girl. Come on, give us some. Give yeah, us some we need a song for, the, for this time frame. Hold on one second. We got another caller coming in. <laughs> Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you for calling Collabo Live 106.5 FM. You're on Go Live with Cairo Queen. Who am I speaking with? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the y'all. Yeah, yo, Centario. Yeah, yo. Now, hey, how are you? I'm well, I'm well. Robin, what's up, family? Hey, look, I got on the highway <laughs> for my first time being here, and uh, it was really amazing, and um, I guess I, I know what I'm doing. I'm here. What you up to? Not much, man, making this music. How's trying everything going? to come going? down here to ATL and take over with you. That's what you're trying to do, fam? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, we're here. Yeah, I just wanted to call and congratulate you. Make sure you were down there doing your thing. Thank you. I, I, I believe I'm going to be A-OK. -okay. Yes, you Let are. Let me say, we are going to be A-OK. -okay. Yes, okay. yes. Definitely we are. Thank you so much. You're welcome, family. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Uh-huh. I really appreciate everybody that's calling in. Uh, we want to go into another song. I think the next song that we're going to play. <clears throat> now, I think we got through a, a bunch of songs. I still didn't even cover my um, shots out. But we'll go into Lenora J. Lenora J, <laughs> she just released this song. It's called Always Get Away. And we'll be right back. Lenora J, tell me what you think of this one. The new Collabo Live 1065 FM. I can tell you want it. I can tell by the way that you look at me. You were ready to get up on it. The predator and the prey. When you took me outside, we got in your ride and escaped to your place. Your biggest mistake, you were feeling Easy. What did I do to you? A whole light out. 
Live 106.5 You know how to work that? <laughs> Go live with Cairo Queen on Collabo Live 106.5 FM Atlanta and Rhythm Up Radio in New York and the Heavy Down in Miami. We're here with Mr. Kibo Gotti on my left and Miss Robin Mobley, hey. the lovely, lovely Robin Mobley Thank on you. my right and Thank the gorgeous you. and uber talented Miss Kimberly Crawford in my back. Hey. I'm so excited. We're here talking about, you know, women in music, the business, and we have a sensational artist on our side who I'm getting ready to really go in on because he dropped in on my show. (laughs) 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 Now, listen, we have some people on the line, and I think one of the callers is Seven. Seven, is that you? Okay, Seven is the caller earlier was Tony Sanders from New Image Management. This is his artist, and Seven, you're doing some big things right now. Right. I'm doing what I'm again. I see you're doing some big things right now, right? Well, listen first before I on. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to Kyla Queen because she has been supporting me for the past couple of years. Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> Trying to get me, you know, to the next level here in the ATL and other places, and and uh, uh, you know, right now we're working on a Vegas trip uh, oh. that uh, you know the Queen is a part of as well, and. You know, I'm just excited. You know, uh, things are moving a whole lot faster than, than you know, expected. You know, when you surround yourself around good people, like genuinely good people, like like the Queen. I mean, 
you know something is going to come out of it. You know, although you're not really looking for anything. But uh, you've been a blessing to me. And yes, we are preparing to uh, get to Vegas. Let's you know? pray on uh, that. Let's, we'll let's be doing 20 pentagraphs, you know, something.